So, hello and welcome to another Rider Cam TV video, where this time you find me riding just gone through Helston on one of my favourite roads on the way to Redruth. And I thought I'd have a quick chat about our new camera, GoPro Hero 10, the media mod, and also a funky bit of kit called a chin mount. Now, I'll start with the chin mount. So, the chin mount from a company called chinmounts.com really aptly name is basically a 3D printed GoPro mount for the chin of your helmet. Unfortunately, I ride with a Scorpion ADX1 helmet and on chinmount.com they had a bespoke printed chin mount for my helmet. So I went ahead and bought it, it was something like 20 quid, I'll put the link in the description. And had to wait a few weeks for it to come because it, I think it's a Chinese company. But when it arrived, I thought, whoa, this is a Gucci bit of kit. It fits just right, so I made sure that the helmet was clear of all dirt and stuff around the chin. They supply some alcohol wipes, so I used the alcohol wipe to clean it off. Waited for it to dry. And then the, the mount is mounted on the helmet via 3M tape. We all know how good 3M tape is. Mark will laugh because it smells amazing, 3M tape, I don't know why. But it also works extremely well. So I just offered up the chin mount to the helmet just to make sure that the fitment was going to be okay and that everything was going to fit on there all right. And waited for the helmet to dry, stuck everything on, and probably for about a minute or so just put some firm pressure on that 3M tape against the helmet and left it overnight at room temperature just so it could go off I suppose and then the next day it started messing about putting the GoPro Hero 10 on. So what I do like about it is that I think it gives a much more immersive view of what's going on. The GoPro Hero 10 is I think without doubt one of the best GoPros that um, GoPro have brought out. It's brand new, the, they've had a firmware update which I'm hoping will deal with the issues that some people have had with overheating. We had it overheat several times for us in a, a room temperature environment when we were recording which is a real pain. So I'm hoping that firmware sorts that out. But the GoPro Hero 10 is really good. It's got this feature on it, horizon leveling I think it's called. And as we go around this corner, I'm obviously leaning over quite a way, but you'll see that on the helmet, on the video, sorry, that the video is remaining level. So it's not so weird to watch and not so sickening to watch, if that makes any sense. Now the media mod that comes with it, it comes from GoPro, it's a bit of a pain because it's 70 odd quid I think. I think it's cheaper if you subscribe to um, the GoPro yearly subscription thing. So I got it a little bit cheaper. And the GoPro Hero 10 fits into it and it provides one main thing for me. It provides the ability to have a dedicated mic input. So that dedicated mic input means that while I'm riding, I can use a lavalier mic which I've routed through the helmet alongside the boom of my interphone, my Bluetooth headset. So it doesn't take up any more space, it's in exactly the same place, and it takes advantage of the stiff wire boom, so I can angle it in front of my um, mouth so that you can hear me talking. And that's a real plus for bikers, because the old GoPros, the 8s and down I think, I had a 7 before, you had to have the actual adapter to plug in the microphone only sold by GoPro which was a real pain but it's so it made the GoPro really bulky this one doesn't makes it a little bit bigger uh, but it enables that dedicated mic input which is so beneficial when you're riding along it also I think using the chin mount enables me to have the camera right on the front of my helmet so I'm hoping that it gives a much more immersive view of what's going on around me and certainly for bike reviews I think it's going to add a, 
a whole new dimension rather than having a drift or a camera on the side of my helmet which was what we were using before, I was using a Drift X and don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic little camera tiny little bit kit, it's got an angling lens so you can always get it level no matter where you put it I did find that having a ghost, a Drift X, um, it meant that it was on the side of my helmet. All well and good, you would say, but I was well aware that it, it was on the side of the helmet, brilliant. But what that did do is it made sure that the helmet was in the shot all the time, which was a bit of a pain. And although I think it gave a really good immersive feel of where you were on the helmet of the rider. The issue for me was that every time I moved to check my mirrors, because it didn't have stabilisation, I think it felt a little bit sicky, um, you know, moving around too quick. As a viewer, it's hard to watch sometimes. So I'm hoping that the stabilisation of this GoPro, the horizon levelling and all of that gizmos, that it's going to add to a much more immersive viewing pleasure, if you like, of our, of our videos. Now, the dedicated mic is just a lavalier mic that I've got fitted onto the, into the helmet. It plugs into an adapter, so the downside to it is you need to have the right microphone in order to plug into the media mod, and I'm no audiophile, so I don't know what one ring or two rings the actual jack means. All I know is that the microphone that I've got, I think either had one ring or two rings, plugs into an adapter which converts it into however the GoPro works with it. And it works. So that did throw a bit of a dilemma of where to route all of the cables because out of the media mod of the GoPro, I needed to have an adapter. And the adapter's about five, four or five inches long, something like that. Now obviously, on my helmet, the Scorpion ADX-1, the helmet is an open face or a, a flip face, flip front, whatever you want to call it. So I couldn't have it all connected with the helmet face open because if I had it open there would be cables everywhere and I really don't want to get caught on the cables. So part of having a camera or something on your helmet, you've got to think about safety, haven't you? So, the lavalier mic that I've got, it's really quite a cheap one, something off Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link and put, put it down in the description. That one's routed alongside my boom for my Bluetooth headset, so there's no more room. And then it comes out with a female end ready to accept the adapter for the GoPro. And I've put that into such a place on my helmet that when I'm not using it, I can put it inside the cheek pad and mount it out of the way. When I am using it, I have a, out of the GoPro, I've got the little media, media mod, and then outside of that, I've got the adapter for the microphone, and that adapter just hangs down off the mic. And then as I shut the helmet, I can then fiddle around and find the connection and make sure it's connected. So that's really good. So all I've got is a couple of inches of wire hanging down on anything as I turn, it's not causing me an issue, so that's the best that I can do. The only thing I need to remember is that when I open the helmet front face, I need to make sure that I've disconnected the camera, otherwise all told damage can happen. But I'm really quite impressed with the immersive feel of the video. It seems to be a lot smoother, it enables me to record in 4K, which allows YouTube to do all its stuff and reduce the quality or whatever it does, but hopefully it brings much more of a crisp image and a more immersive feel to the video. And that's all because I managed to find that chin mount. If I didn't find the chin mount, I'd have to mount the camera somewhere differently on my helmet, on the top or on the side, and then we're back to the same problem with the, the helmet in the shot. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted a really clean shot. So you can just see my little pinkies on the handlebars and get that feeling that you're riding along with us while we're talking about the new bikes. So, very quick video, 
hope this video comes out okay. I hope it's immersive. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the description below. Hit the like button. You'll see it somewhere. And hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when we make new videos. And we'll see you in the next video.